So Foodie recently made a video stating that due to her declining health, she would be going back to Canada indefinitely until she got things under control. Specifically saying she would be looking into weight loss surgery, which often can take well over a year to get. I talked to Salah and I made the decision that it's sadly probably better for me to go back to Canada for a while uh, to seek some much needed medical care and part of that is I want to talk to a doctor about possible weight loss surgery. I want to talk to a doctor about the weight loss surgery process and it can take like a year, year and a half sometimes, it can take a while, months and months, it depends. Um, and psychiatric help, you know, proper diagnosis, all that proper medication uh, to get my diabetes under control as well. Certain medications for diabetes and also the surgery, of course, is um, covered in Canada. So um, also, I just feel like I need family when I'm going through some of these hard times. You know, when you're sick, you always want your mom. <laughs> so, But it's just a lot and I need to be in Canada to deal with these things as I realize. So um, I'm not sure when, but someday I will just be in Canada and you'll see me there. Now many believe she is already either en route to Canada or even there. Which begs the question, what will Sola do in their beautiful Oceanside apartment while his wife is 8,000 kilometers away? Let's look at some old clips to see what Foodie believes a married man can and should be able to do while so far from his wife. He's married and has children in Turkey anyways. But he's not going to see his family for like three years. That's really sad. Oh well. What? He doesn't do his wife, so. <laughs> no, I, he, he said it was normal. He's allowed to sleep or sleep around when he's in. I don't know. Yeah. Tara, his wife and kids are in another country. It doesn't count. But like, I mean, it's just his wife in the other country. It's not the same. It's a, like an arranged marriage. They don't love each other. What? I'm smiling because you don't understand the situation and it sounds bad. <laughs> different cultures. Yeah, it's a different culture thing for him. No, I had sex four times with a married man today. Sleeping with married men? Well, I didn't know what, like, he has a family in Turkey. I'm like, is it normal for you to sleep with women when you're, he's like, yeah. It's not the same. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> he said it's okay, so. But for him, he sounds like it's totally normal the way he was just talking about his family. Like, it was nothing, like... And then, like, I think maybe they're not together that way. I don't know. No. I don't think they're in a happy marriage or something. Not in a happy marriage? Hmm. Sounds familiar. He came here seeking asylum. So he had to leave his family and he needs some comfort while he's here. <laughs> it's true! He needs some help. Besides which, we don't even know their relationship at all. He didn't, like... He also made it seem like they were separated or they weren't, they never had sex. Cause I was like, when I said sex and then wife, he's like, no, no, no sex, no sex. So we don't know their fucking arrangement. So don't call me a fucking bitch and come at me sideways. Fuck you. You're a bitch. Get out of here. It's funny. Cause the same could be said about her and Sulla's relationship. We don't know Ren the situation. We don't know. He probably isn't like with her. I don't know. And like, so it was really broken the way he was explaining to me. So I didn't really fucking understand what he meant. Like, I got the feeling like he wasn't, like, in love with her or he wasn't with her or, like, I hope his wife starts a channel. <laughs> I told you, he wants you to practice walking so you can get a head start when the wife comes after you. <laughs> he's not married. She is. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. She, I, he's not, she, she's not coming here. He, you know, I didn't understand what he was saying. It was just a lost in translation moment, but apparently it's fine. So he said, of course I'm married. Like, like that. Of course I have married, I'm married in Turkey. Or of course, I, he said I was married in Turkey. I have three kids in Turkey. He has a different life here now. I'm his Canadian wife now. Um, his wife is not coming to Canada, so, like, at all, and so, yeah, so he's looking for love here. So I'm not a homewrecker, because he's not with her, like, they're not together, but he said it was, like, basically, like, a loveless. I really, really think it's okay, I don't think, you know, we're doing anything immoral. I don't know if you're having a bad day, Holly, but I don't really give a shit, because you didn't hear me just explain for 20 fucking minutes about the situation. No, I don't care, because I'm not doing anything wrong. His wife is... 8,000 kilometers away and it was an arranged marriage that they don't love each other. He's here looking for another girlfriend. And if it's lies, I don't know it, so who cares? Hmm, 
I wonder if Foodie will keep the same energy about her married husband now that she's about to be 8,000 kilometers away from him. As someone who talks about believing in karma, she'd better watch out. And we love that the most for her. I kiss not a bowl.